Welcome to Venice, Italy, also known as the Floating City. My name is Erica and my husband Josh and I just spent two weeks traveling in Italy and Greece for our honeymoon. In this vlog, we'll take you to our first stop, Venice. We had an enchanting time in Venice getting lost in the winding streets, learning about the city's rich history, and enjoying boat rides through the charming canals. I hope you hit subscribe and enjoy coming along this epic adventure. Hello and welcome to the Honeymoon Vlog Series. I'm Erica and I am so excited to take you along Josh and I's two week honeymoon trip to Italy and Greece. We leave for the airport in about a half hour and I honestly can't believe we're leaving. It has been just kind of a crazy time in life, right? With the wedding and everything and I can't believe we're about to leave on our two week honeymoon trip. I'm so excited. I have not been to Europe in years. I have not taken a two week vacation in, I don't know, ever. So this trip is gonna be so epic and I can't wait to take you guys along. And in this vlog, I'm gonna take you to Venice. So that is our first stop on our honeymoon trip. We are flying, so it's Friday. We fly tonight, Friday, and we don't get there till Saturday midday. And then Saturday, we don't really have anything planned except for a dinner reservation. But then on Sunday, we have a huge tour. We're doing like a seven hour tour. It's called Venice in a Day, and we're literally gonna see everything. So I'm gonna take you guys along for that. We're even gonna do a gondola ride with this tour and it's gonna be epic, I can't wait. And also fun fact, it's the Venice Film Festival right now this weekend. So who knows, we might see some celebrities as well, but I cannot wait to take you guys along and yeah, I gotta get ready, gotta get going because we need to go to the airport. Once we landed in Venice, we picked up our bags, went through customs, then made our way to our pre-booked water taxi. Something so crazy about this airport is that it's right next to the water, so you just need to walk about 10-15 minutes, go down an escalator, and you'll be at a boat dock. Like I said, we pre-booked this water taxi, but there's also a water bus that you can get tickets for right at the docks. We chose to do the taxi because we wanted to be a little fancy. It was a shared water taxi, which means we had a few more parties in our boat. All the private taxis were booked for the film festival, but we didn't mind sharing. So depending on where your hotel is, the taxi may be able to take you directly to your hotel, but for us, we just got dropped off at one location and then had to walk about five minutes to our hotel. So we've made it to Venice. We just got off the water taxi, which highly, highly recommend the water taxi. We did the shared one, but I thought it was so cool. Like it was like a boat ride, like two in one, like transportation yet a scenic boat ride through Venice. So I thought that was probably better than taking the bus and for the, uh, shared water taxi was 38 euro per person. Um, so I love that. And what are your first thoughts on Venice? I thought it's cool. I mean, it's like a water maze. <laughs> yeah, it's literally a maze. Like, it yeah. doesn't look real. It does not feel real to me. It feels like there's no, like people live here. Like it feels like, I, I thought, don't know. I thought there's going to be more people. With, I don't think with... we found them yet. Oh. But we did walk through St. Mark's Square, which is like the busy spot. So yeah. Yeah. But First, those are our Ooh. first thoughts. We had a great travel day, and now we're gonna take a shower and get ready <laughs> and feel fresh up. Welcome to our room at the Rosa Salva Hotel. It's so cute. Got a little bathroom. <gasps> Wait, Josh, we have a Bodeau. 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 <laughs> Bodeau. It's been a long travel day. We made it. We made it. And then, what's the shower? A nice fancy shower. Right. It's like perfect size. I like it. And we got, let's look at our little view. We're gonna get so lost in the city, which I'm so excited about. Very, very cute. All right, we are all showered and feeling refreshed and ready to go explore Venice. So we don't really have any plans for today. The only plan we have is a dinner reservation at 7.30. It's about four o'clock now, and we need to eat something because we have not eaten since the plane. So I think we're gonna just go and wander around and try and find some food. And honestly, just like get lost in this city because I feel like this is the city to get lost in. The 
little bit that I've already seen, like just kind of like peeking down different alleyways, there's like hidden gems all around the corner. So I think that's gonna be our plan next, so come along. First thing on the agenda was food. We wanted something quick, so we popped into this pizza shop. Now, later I heard that Venice pizza is a little different because there's no wood-burning ovens on the island, but I gotta say, this pizza just hit the spot. And then after the pizza, we just started walking, and frankly, our goal was to just get lost, which is probably what I recommend most doing in Venice. The more we walked, the more hidden corners and streets we found. And then we came across this piazza where we got a few drinks to go because one in Rome, am I right? <laughs> then we noticed we started getting farther and farther away from the crowds and that's when we stumbled upon this quaint street. It was so quiet and peaceful. So we just sat on the canal and watched the boats go by. It was honestly one of those like pinch me kind of moments, which is again why I recommend just getting lost in Venice because you never know what you're gonna find. Then it was time to eat again. So I made this reservation at this restaurant because I wanted to make sure we ate on a canal somewhere and this place had some good reviews. And something really cool is if you sit outside, the waiters actually serve you through this window, which was so cute. I got the carbonara, which was pretty good. Not the best I've ever had, but not bad by any means. And then Josh got a seafood pasta that was also really yummy. All right, we just finished up dinner. We went early because our reservation was at 7 30 but hungry. we're hungry and we're so tired so we went in at like 6 15 we're like can we just be seated early and they're like yeah someone canceled the reservation so oh Shit. okay we just hit a dead end so that's venice for you okay um anyway they said someone canceled the reservation so we could sit down and eat and we got to sit outside it was so pretty and it was good um but now we really hit a wall and we're so tired so we're gonna go back to the hotel probably take another shower <laughs> and get ready to go to bed because we have an early tour tomorrow morning venice in a day we're seeing it all and we're taking you guys along good morning it is the next day it's about 8 10 and we are walking to meet our tour group um bit of a hectic morning my curling iron wouldn't work so that was kind of a bummer um and yeah we're doing our tour today long tour it's gonna be good go from 8 30 to 3 30. we're gonna see st mark's basilica doge's palace probably marco polo's house like we're gonna see it all so yeah we're just on our way to go meet the tour group and one thing i want to say right now it is so quiet in the streets like we just crossed the rialto bridge and there was like no one there so definitely if you want to take pictures that is a really good time and all the locals are out running which definitely indicates that this is the quiet time so like between 8 o'clock and 8 30 probably is like a good time to get up walk around without crowds and take some pictures we booked this tour with a company called walks of italy the tour we booked was called venice in a day and it cost 163 dollars per person the tour was very well organized and i'm telling you they aren't lying when they call it venice in a day because we literally saw everything even things i didn't know about venice so the first part of the tour, we walked around a few neighborhoods and learned that Venice originally was more canals than streets. So they eventually decided to fill in some of the canals to make more walkable streets, which I found so interesting. And like I said, we saw everything from the Rialto Bridge to Marco Polo's house. This tour was about six hours long, but they do give you a break to have lunch. But keep in mind that lunch is not included in the tour. What was included in our tickets was access into St. Mark's Basilica. Now, because it was Sunday, we couldn't go on the main level of the church. Instead, we were able to go upstairs and view the church from above. We also had a chance to pop outside and see St. Mark's Square, which was super cool. Also included with this tour was a 30 minute gondola ride. This honestly is a bargain because a gondola ride can cost you between 80 to 100 euro. Just note that with the tour, you're probably gonna have to share a gondola with another party in your tour group. We shared ours with another couple who was also on their honeymoon, which was super cool. And I can honestly say that having another group with you on the gondola does not take away from the experience at all. After our gondola ride, it was time for our last stop of the day, and that was Doge's Palace. Tickets inside the palace are included in your tour, and I just have to say that having all these tickets included was so nice. It also meant we got to skip the line too. Being inside Doge's Palace reminded me a lot of being in the Palace of Versailles in France. When you go inside these palaces, it's almost overwhelming how grand and detailed they are. Almost to the point where they don't feel real. Like, I had to keep telling myself, this is real, real powerful people ruled here. It's just so crazy to me. 
My favorite part of the palace tour was definitely seeing the prison. Again, having to remind myself that these are real prison cells where criminals were kept in. And a lot of the cells had writing etched or written on the walls. And our tour guide pointed out to the last prisoner in the cell and his writing on the wall, which was just so cool. After our tour, we wanted to grab a bite to eat, and our tour guide had mentioned that today was the annual gondola parade, so we sat at a restaurant on the Grand Canal and got to watch the parade go by. It is about 5 o'clock, and we're back at the hotel now um, from just a long day touring all of Venice and then having that little, um, not dinner, but we had like an appetizer and watched the boat parade, which is really fun. But just want to kind of like do a recap on the tour. I thought it was really good. I would give it eight and a half out of ten. Or would, how would you like it? What would you rate it? We'll rate it out of, so like the symbol of Venice is a lion with wings. So how many lion with wings out of ten would you give it? I said I'd give it eight with an extra set of wings. Okay, so that's an eight and a half. Yeah, it was really, really good. Our tour guide was super good. She actually told us that like they have to take... Um, a test like an exam mm. to become a tour guide and pass so yeah she was really good and I would say my favorite part of the tour was probably the palace because like just seeing all of that it's very grand and you it's, it's hard to wrap your head around that like that was all real you know back in the day and I really like seeing the prison cells was really cool and like the bridge of size we walked through so like that is where the prisoners basically like once they were like um I don't want to say executed. Once they were sentenced. sentenced, that's the word, to like jail, they would have to cross through this bridge, and it's called the Bridge of Size because they get they have one window out to Venice, and they got to look out and see Venice for the last time before they would never see Venice again. So they would like sigh, like, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's exactly how they did it um, when they went to the prisons. And yeah, the prisons was really cool inside. And they, I think she said they would like serve them wine too. Really? Yeah, I remember her saying that. But that was super cool. And we were just here on like a crazy weekend because it's the Venice Film Festival, which is actually on the little island, they said. So it's not right in the heart of Venice. It's like on another island. So you'd have to take a boat to. And then we were here for like the boat parade or the gondola parade, which only happens once a year, the first Sunday of every sept first Sunday of September. So yeah, it's been cool. What was your favorite yeah. part of the tour? I really enjoyed the gondola ride. Oh yeah, I thought it like was so much in, in that tour. Yeah, <laughs> I thought definitely. it was really cool to see the canals from on a boat. Yeah, you know? different perspective. And we got to go down those like really tight, skinny ones. Mm -hmm. it, and like, he he never hit. Yeah, the no, wall. they never touched the walls. I mean, but they were like they got that close. super close to one another and the walls. Yeah, but, no, they could move those things like. Yeah, that was crazy. Real good. Yeah, so I think we're just gonna like freshen up here real quick and then go out for the day maybe do some shopping have some dinner and I still need to get gelato so that's what is gonna be the plan next we did a little more walking around and stumbled upon this beautiful church and at this point we were starting to get hungry and we walked by a restaurant that we noticed a lot of locals were stopping at to pick up pizzas to take home so we figured that was a good sign so we sat down at a table and I am so glad we did we had truly an incredible meal here we started with the beef tartare which is probably the best I ever had it had this cheese sauce with it that was to die for I had a lemon mussel pasta and Josh got a pizza Highly, highly recommend this restaurant. It was so good. I also wanted to mention that I felt very safe walking around Venice at night. Now, of course, always be aware of your surroundings, but I just wanted to mention that in case anyone was curious. Good morning, everyone. It is our last morning here in Venice. We're leaving on the train for Verona around one o'clock this afternoon. So we're gonna get up, go get some breakfast, maybe honestly get some ice cream. My friend recommended this ice cream shop that I wanna try out and probably do some more wandering around Venice. So let's go and enjoy our last little glimpses of Venice. So honestly, nothing super exciting happened this morning except that Josh got a pizza for breakfast and I got an ice cream. Cause you know what? We were on vacation. <laughs> Okay guys, we took the train and we are now in Verona, so we're gonna end the Venice vlog right here. And if you wanna watch the Verona vlog, make sure you subscribe because that's gonna be a whole different vlog. But before we go, we wanna give our final thoughts on Venice and we like to share our three favorite things of the trip. So my favorite three things in Venice were just like getting lost in the city and walking around. Our dinner last night was amazing. That beef tartare, love that. And then, I really liked um, 
Doja's palace and like seeing the prison cells back then, that was super cool. Now, what were your three favorites? I have to agree with you that dinner last night was phenomenal. That beef tartare was probably the best I've ever had. Yeah, it was so good. Um, and then I also have to agree, walking around town, getting lost, every turn was always something different. Mm -hmm. You're finding new shops, walking mm -hmm. into new people. <laughs> yeah. And then lastly would probably be uh, the gondola ride. Yeah, that was, was really cool too. It was really cool to see Dennis from the water and it, go in between the canals. And mm -hmm. those drivers, man, are so good. They get so close to the walls, so yep. close to the other boats, but they never touch. Yep. Yeah, I would say Venice from the water versus like the streets, totally different experience. And I will say like for a while, for 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 a while, we were only there for two days, but <laughs> throughout those two days, I was starting to think that like my thoughts were going to be that the food was good, not great, because it is a very touristy place. Mm -hmm. And I felt like we kind of kept going into places that were good. It wasn't like bad, you but it wasn't. You could easily walk into a place because they're always out, you know, wanting to pull you into the yeah. restaurant. So, they'll, I mean, yeah. it's easy to find okay places to eat. Yeah, but I think the one, the restaurant we found last night was definitely, it was way far back. It was not near any, like, you know, big um, tourist stops or anything. And we saw so many locals, like, coming up and getting their pizzas to go. And so we're like, okay, we know that this is, like, definitely a local place. You could tell. And it wasn't, like, in an area that's like, oh, my gosh, it's so cute here. But, I mean, you're still, like, in Italy. You still sat outside, enjoyed a great meal. So I would say if you're looking for food, like, really do your research because Venice overall to me was a very touristy place, which isn't a bad thing. I think a lot of people think that's, like, a negative thing. But it's touristy and popular for a reason because there's nowhere else like it in the world. So I still definitely recommend going. I think two days tops is really what you need to do it all and see it all. Um, but yeah, that was kind of my thoughts on the food. It's like you kind of have to really like do your research and really like um, scope out the good restaurants because again, it's so popular that it's a lot of touristy kind of restaurants. But yeah, that is it for the Venice vlog. If you made it this far, please drop a little Italian flag emoji in the comments so that way I know you made it to the end. And please give this video a big thumbs up. And again, don't forget to subscribe because we're in Verona, guys, and that's going to be a whole nother vlog, and I can't wait to take you guys there. So bye. We'll see you in Verona. You cut me loose and send me free.